In 17th century Japan, it was weirdly normal for people to pay their annual taxes with a singular sunfish. And while I wasn't able to find a straightforward answer as to why this was an acceptable form of payment, I'd assume it has something to do with them being relatively rare, hoarding up to 4,000 pounds worth of meat, and being highly regarded in Japanese culture. I guess people back then had a funny way of expressing their appreciation for rare animals. Regardless, while sunfish cuisine was all the rage in Japan, some countries frowned upon the practice, with Polynesia going so far as to claim it was outright bad luck to eat them. You see, they believed that the sunfish was the king of all mackerel on account of them being really big and cool looking. Guess you better call them the holy mackerel, am I right? No? Alright, never mind. But yeah, it would make sense then that if you ate a sunfish, its mackerel underlings would want nothing to do with your little island and it would steer clear. Why they don't do that when they're the ones getting eaten is beyond me, but the inner machinations of a mackerel's mind have always been one of life's great mysteries.